Please join me as I welcome on stage Zero Complex AI. Hi, my name is Kenny Latter, or Kenny for short. Um, I'm the co-founder of Zero Complex AI. Zero Complex, Zero Complex AI simplifies AI integration for small and medium businesses by supercharging their current digital infrastructure with AI capabilities via our proprietary single AI API platform. Three co-founders um, with over 30 years combined experience in software development, product management, product development, business development, right? Also, we started, we also co-founders of a technology consulting agency, which we started seven years ago, where we build digital products for B2B clients across various sectors in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. Oh, okay. Hello, good afternoon everyone. In today's business landscape, it is no longer an option for businesses to embrace AI. It's a necessity because they have to remain relevant and competitive. AI basically increases business efficiency, reduces cost of operations, and also increases profit. Zero Complex AI simplifies AI integration for businesses by supercharging their existing infrastructure with AI capabilities via a single AI API. We're playing in the US and sub-Saharan African markets, and this market generates an average of 350 billion in annual revenue. Our goal in the next five years is to generate a billion dollars in revenue, and we think it's very, very possible. We launched via our business model, which is charging via subscription and API calls. We launched 14 days ago, and we have $1,000 in revenue. We've raised $10,000 from friends and family, and we have over 10 B2B customers on our waitlist. As of 24 hours ago, four of my colleagues have joined our waitlist, and one enterprise bank has joined our waitlist too. Also, as ex-co-founders of a tech agency that we started over seven years ago, where we built B2B and B2C digital products for banks, for technology companies, for enterprise, we believe we have the capability and the right expertise to build out and grow Zero Complex AI. Thank you. Can you give examples of use cases? Um, okay, so are the customers that we onboarded please in the logistics space in the US, right? Um, based on our AI capabilities that we integrated into the existing infrastructure, reduce its cost of operation by 30%, and we also increase its revenue by 20%. By doing what? Um, so the AI capabilities we built in, um, basically, so it plays in the US logistics market and it's really, really fragmented. So you have its customers uploading documents of different size and different shapes, right? So what the AI capabilities we built is, the AI picks up the document, lends it, and extracts the vital information and exports it into its digital infrastructure. What you have currently as OCR that is specific to a type of document. But our AI capabilities now can train and learn on any type of document, be it handwritten, right? So that's one use case that we've built. And we see that use case applicable in other verticals. So and quick follow-up, actually, just on that point. So are you building, effectively, rolling out a similar use case across yes. different customers that have the yes. same problem? Yes, yes, okay. yes. And at this point, why? because we have tech agency experience, all of our customers were just discovering various use cases for them, and we're rolling out the workflows for them. So, so again, relatedly, I, so... If, are you, are you, is every, is every client a custom project or are you? Are no, no, no. Once you, we integrate you, for one customer, we look for other I'm customers sorry, that yeah. need API and they just scale with them. So today, what, what kinds of, uh, how many of these uh, problems? A lot. We have church, elevation church. Okay, let me not mention that anymore. Church. Well, well, well I wasn't even asking about your customers. Okay. How many sort of use case or problems? There are lots. Okay. There are a whole lot. That you already have on the yes. shelf and you Just 24 them. hours ago, I discovered four new use cases. So, okay from just interacting with tech circles, co-founders. And then how do you, what then is the business model since? So we charge by API call. So the, each workflow, but the minimum we charge is 50 cents. It could be high. For example, this customer paid for two months upward, $500 a month, right? Okay. 
So subscription also minimum is ten dollars a month, but it could be higher than that, depending on the workflows and the the values that was we're, we're proposing to the customer. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah.